All right, before we start, I do want to say that I made channel memberships. And if you want to support me a little more, you can go down to the link in the description and buy one of these. So yeah, anyway, enjoy the video. All right, so we start off with the shiesty sorcerer going up against this one dude and this old woman. And before we go on, can we talk about how this old ass woman over here is a hashtag freak? Like I'm talking Kevin Gates, R. Kelly, and that one Maki artist on Twitter level freakery. Peep this. She is pushing 90, which means she's been around since my people weren't able to sit on seats 1 through 20 on buses. And she's in a boys idol agency fan club. You know how exclusive those things are? Also, she specifically likes young boys, not that one, these ones, and her power can bring back people from the dead. If that don't scream freaky, then I don't know what does. But anyway, Eno over here is trying to get this woman, but this NPC is not letting that happen. So he's like, I then, waits for her to start chanting, and then fires off a projectile. But right as it's about to hit her, we see that it got caught. And who caught it? None other than Toji Fushiguro. This woman done brought him back from the dead. And even Eno over here knew that this man was built different. He really says so. What's up with him? Is he some famous sorcerer? I can tell by his stance. He's hella strong. But either way, that don't matter to him. He gets ready to strike, and we see that Toji done snatched <laughs> the shiesty August man's head. Took that off so fast that he left a mark on his head, and they didn't even start bleeding for real. That's crazy. And this right here is one of the most I'm cooked faces I've ever seen. He turns around and immediately gets his lights turned out. Didn't even take one punch. And Toji sees this and immediately starts beating down on this man. Look at the smile on his face too. He don't even care anymore. He's just doing it for the love of the game. He finishes up and we see bro start tweaking like the symbiote got a hold of him. Granny over here trying to tell bro to pack up some more sorcerers. And he's like, man, who do you think you're talking to? Granny hears this and steps back talking about some, ha, ha, it can't be. And he pulls up on her with the most heinous smile I have ever seen. Says, hey, you're a sorcerer. And packs her up. Hands ready to eat for everyone. You gotta respect it. And thus begins Toji Spin Shibuya. You know what's funny? This was one of the very few times where Megami actually should have summoned Maharaga. And he didn't. Nine out of ten times, he will put that shit out at the most minor inconveniences. But when his life is on the line, all of a sudden, he don't want to do it no more. But hey, that's fine by me. Thanks to him, we were able to see this cold ass entrance by Toji. Man's real came back from the dead to bring back the milk. That's crazy. Man's pulled up and wasted no time. Flashed up from midair, pulled up on Maki and said some. Give me that shit, nigga. Had her ass doing a whole flip. And he gets right to work, pulls up on Dagon and gets ready to box. Fishman over here looking at this dude like, oh, he got no cursed energy. This is going to be some light work. No, no, it isn't, dog. Dagon strikes first with this sea serpent, but Toji sends that shit back. Came in with that same day delivery. Spit the sea like a nigga Moses while he had it too. Then he disappears, comes in, rocks his shit, and sends him back into the water. And now it is time for the cooking to begin. I had to put this in slow motion. Peep game real quick. Toji comes in, grabs this man by the tentacles, and rips them off like he taking tickets at that Chuck E. Cheese. Brings this man around and sends him away. He comes in with that Hall of Fame chase down that he got and straight up speed blitzes him, giving him straight combos. Throws him again. He runs up on him, and this part was straight diabolical. Man's pulls up, loops around this man, and then sends him flying out here treating him like he's a toy. And Dagon's response to this violation is sending not one, not two, but three fish at Toji for a counter. Toji quite literally eats that shit and sends his ass away for that disrespect. And Dagon's like, I if three fish didn't work, how about 300? Acting like Toji ain't turned the last one into bones. He blows through that like Hakari be blowing through money at the casino. Made sure there was nothing left. He tries to summon the sea snake again, no. but Toji stops that. So he decides to switch tactics and drown him. And look at Toji. Man isn't even worried in the slightest. In true Jujutsu Kaisen fashion, he calls in the fish to jump this man. And then sends a sea king to end him. And yeah, that was cool and all, but that shit did no fucking damage. Came out that shit unscathed. Didn't even fuck up the fit in the slightest. He sends the sea king back down. And then we see Dagon wash up on shore. And I can't even lie, this shit is embarrassing. You are a grown ass nick, fish, fish nigga, figure, whatever. And you out here getting cooked in your own domain. A fish losing in the water is like the average black man losing to a three foot Chinese kid and a one on one. That is your own turf. That is where you belong. How are you losing? Toji gets back down and Dagon out here on one knee. Bro is just trashing him for having no cursed energy and now he hitting the Vegeta. He gets up, blinks three times and Toji already there. Shit gotta be scary as fuck. Nigga out here moving like a jump scare. He tries to block with his water bending. 
but Toji reminds him he ain't a part of the team. Hits him with the right, snatches that shit, and then goes for the left. Then he adds one more for good measure. And now his ass wanna start backtracking. Crazy. He tries to use those fish for the upteenth time, but Toji sidesteps and hits this man with the nastiest rollover and snatch combo. Then he winds up from Timbuk2 and stomps on his ass with the loafers on too. Dagon falls to the floor and Toji decides it's time to end this. Dagon starts to see what's going on and decides to dip, but he must have forgot he was in Jujutsu Kaisen. Ain't no such thing as a one-on-one -on -one around here. The old man comes in and sends his ass right back down. Toji uses his weapon as a pole vault and pulls up to complete the jump. Brody out here talking about some, it's not over. And Toji's like, I then beats the shit out of him. Making me lucky as hell this nigga wasn't around when he was a kid. Some after school ass beatings would have been lethal. He finishes up and Dagon is now Dagon. <laughs> Okay, that sounded a lot better in my head. So yeah, the gun is gone, but now they got a new problem. Toji. He just saved their sorry asses back then, but now he looked like he about to run a fade. But on who? Find out next time on Noah Ball Z. You know, lately, I've been seeing a lot of people making fun of Jogo for losing to Sukuna, but at least Jogo stood on business for real. Megumi got taken outside and immediately tried to dip. Like he ain't even tried for real. Bro's first course of action in this fight is to use rabbit escape, but Toji's on that. No free eats. And this next part was genuinely funny as hell. Cause bro gets on the ground and he dead ass hits the Usain boat and gets out of there. This shit had me in tears. Toji got this man hitting a full stride. He's right behind me, isn't he? As form. He turns back around and Toji's already there. And I'm not even gonna make fun of him for this reaction. Cause this shit gotta be scary as fuck. Do moves like he playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Megami sees that he can't run away and squares up. And Megami scoring up is the equivalent to Steph Curry when he had that shooting sleeve on or Jordan Poole when the baddies courtside. But it has the opposite effect. When you see him do this, instead of getting hype, you just know you about to see the most lackluster performance of all time. And Megami did not fail to disappoint. He comes in with the left hook but no. gets blocked. And not only did he get blocked, this nigga had his head down and his eyes closed. Megami goes 0 for 9 from the field and then proceeds to get his shit rocked with a nasty backhand. Got him looking crazy. And I know y'all thinking, this looks familiar. And that's cause Sukuna did them the exact same way. Bro never learns. He distracts him with the rabbits and tries to go for what I like to call the Suarez special. But he fails. He tries to spin back with a backhand of his own, but Toji blocks it. He tries to go on for a part 2, but gets stopped again. Brody got a reverse 3 p he 0 for 3. And Megami's ass is like, huh, he got one of my hands. Let me give him the Stupid. other. With your dumb ass. And look at bro's face, he knew he fucked up. He realized he ain't built for this. Face ass. Guess the daylight's locked out of him. Got him looking silly as hell. And I can't even lie, I didn't even know the rabbits could throw hands like this for real. I'm sorry, I wasn't really familiar with your game. Got me looking like Shaq, but you know it's bad when a vegetarian creature is out here throwing better hands than you are. I'm talking about you, Megami. You suck. He throws Megami away like some garbage, and in true Jujutsu Kaisen fashion, the rabbits go in to jump him. But what Toji does next is crazy, so peep game and lock in real quick. Toji throws up his weapon like he throwing up an alley, then stomps on the ground, breaking it up. He finds the debris mid-air and starts using it to piece up the rabbits. And this is some crazy coordination right here, he ain't even looking. He finishes up, catches his weapon, and Megami gives us his fifth, Kalahi unfinished reaction of the day. And by this point, most normal people would have already given up. But when we cut to the next scene, somehow he's still trying to box. Bro, thank you, Nick at 30. Never, never back, back down, down, never, never give, up, give right? up. Bro, you are not him. It is time to give up. And after this next ass beating, he sure did. Toji sees this shit and gives this dude a clean left. Got him bouncing off. He tries to spin back for whatever reason, but bro tells him to look up. Got him saying, hello. Nigga think he Adele. Toji spins around and finishes off with the insane elbow. Clean his three-piece combo since the Happy Meal. Almost changed the genre too. Nearly took his ass out with truck coon. Damn near turned JJK into an isekai. Megami finally realizes that his ass ain't built for this and hits the dash. But Toji ain't letting him go. Brody straight up starts sniping him. He got that prime Tfue aim. Out here throwing. Nigga, is that a truck? Niggas really be moving crazy when they laugh on the line. I promise you, bro has never moved like this, not once in his life. Told you almost sniped his ass in midair too. Get that man a phase contract. Megami flies away, and then he decides it's time to get smart. He lures Toji into the building, turns on the water, and then he pulls up to electrocute him. And that was nice and all, but Toji walked out of that shit unscathed. No damage to the fit whatsoever. Toji comes on Megami. Pause. Resume and Megami hits him with this clean ass dodge. Only W's taking all night. Toji goes in for the kill, but we see Megami make a 200 IQ play, making him fall into the shadow and redirecting his hit. And now it's Megami's turn, but he ain't like that. Toji weezy. 
and it looks like Megumi is finally finished. But then we get a flashback, and Toji finally remembers that he has a son. About damn time, nigga. We see him come to, and Megumi is ready to summon Maharaga. First time he's had a good reason to use him too. Toji asks his name, he says Fushiguro, and he's like, aight, you good. And he kills himself. Yeah, not gonna lie, this gotta be traumatizing as hell. How old is this kid? Before we end it off, this video was sponsored by Anime Express. Anime Express has a variety of merchandise from all your favorite animes, such as Jujutsu Kaisen, Naruto, Demon Slayer, One Piece, and others. They got a variety of stuff and cool things, such as hoodies, t-shirts, necklaces, and this dope-ass sword over here. Personally, my favorite is the Chosa hoodie, because as much as I be hating on bro, this shirt is tough as hell. And if you want 10% off, use my code NOAH10 at checkout. Link in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching.